What's going on? This is DJ Turbulence, and right now you're tuned into BPM Supreme TV. Check it out. I started DJing in 1997. I was influenced by listening to the radio stations in LA, Power 106 and 92.3 The Beat. I would always just record all their mixes and just studying them because back then we didn't have like no internet like Google like how to DJ videos or actually we did but then that came out later but basically yeah back in like 96 I was just studying like the radio back then. Major club gig. Um, my friend Neil Jackson, Clockwork at the time, he, um, he used to sneak me into like different clubs. I was like, yeah, 13, 14 years old. So we would do like clubs, all the clubs in LA, like, man, I don't know, Arena, um, back then, when the, what, what was the name of the clubs? But basically like yeah, all the clubs in LA and Orange County. And he introduced me to everyone from like Power 106. And yeah, that's where I just met all the guys and just connected with them. Me and Lil John met in, um, at Power 106 because I was DJing there for like five years and he was working his records and he would come through our mixer meetings and like, yeah, we exchanged com um, information. So we'd just like, you know, keep in touch throughout the years. And then um, Sujit's our manager from Scam Artist. So him and um, his other manager, um, Scat, they came up with like the idea and like, yeah, hey, let's go try to hook him up. And I ended up DJing in one of his tours in Japan and like, we just clicked from there because we were friends anyways, but then from there we just clicked as far as like, you know, going back and forth. I would make his edits for his shows or I'd make some like remixes or just anything on the fly and then we just clicked. How do I prepare? Just, man, stay hydrated because we drink a lot. <laughs> um, just, yeah, just stay on top of music and we just love having a good time. When we're up there, it's just, it's really like a big party. We just, man, cause John's like, you know, the voice of the club. Like, you know, he's just about just having a good time. Once you hear one of his songs, like everyone knows the lyrics to it. Everyone claps their hands, put their hands up and everything. So just a lot of sleep or try to get some sleep, lack of sleep, uh, stay hydrated and yeah, just have a good time. Ah, scam artist, how did I get involved? Sujit approached me um, when I was still on Power 106 at the time. And like, I guess Vice and Echo, like just told him about me. And then like, he was like, yo, I heard like, you know, you're the next kid coming up and I want to sign you. So yeah, I ended up meeting up with him and he just told me his whole game plan. Back then there was like maybe six of us. I think now there's like, man, I don't know, 60, 70 of us now. This is like maybe 2005, 2006, and yeah, we just linked up and it just worked out and it's great to see him and the company and just all of us grow, th uh, grow throughout the years. So like battle DJ is like, you know, you gotta be like the coolest or like the dopest new tricks or beat juggling and scratch routines and disses and it's like a whole story, like six minutes, you like practice months and months and months for just six minutes, you know? And the pressure's on right there, it's like, yeah, it's all about skill, like every second you're just like, you know, creating like different sequences. And then for like club DJing, it's just selection, like what, you know, what's gonna, the crowd gonna respond to? Um, how are you gonna build a night? How are you gonna go from one hour, two hour, three hour sets, whatever? So it's more of like, yeah, more crowd response and turntablism is more like technical side. So then I like to, I guess, marry the two and just do a little bit of both and just have an accent of both on it. Because at the same time, if you're doing a turntable set, it's still selection. So like when you drop the next record or you do a dope like um, routine or sequence, it's still like you get a crowd reaction out of it. All energy. Production, I've been dabbling in since I want to say 2005, 2006, just on and off. I kind of like did some stuff here, went back to it, like didn't really take it that serious. I kind of went back and forth with it. In the last few years, since I moved to Vegas, I took it like real serious. And since I uh, hooked up a little John with production, um, just took it to more um, 
making music besides playing other people's music and like it just feels better when like you get a crowd reaction playing your own stuff and how I pick remixes I don't know I just if I could hear a song like 30 times in a row and it's that dope I'm like man I want to like you know flip it like I might be I might be inspired by like a sample of a vocal a melody or something that in that's in there that just catches my ear I'm like yo I know I can flip that and it kind of goes back to like my turntable list like ideas because like I'd, I'd hear like a track I'm like man I want to juggle that record or I want to scratch over that record or like you know cut over that record so I kind of bring it back to it just goes back into like a circle of like just creativity. Next for DJ Turbulence is all production in the studio all day like it's the gym just working just it's my passion like my newest found like love like I told you I've been dibbling and dabbling like for a while so yeah it's just the more I'm in the studio the more I love it and the more reaction I get to play my music and like the my artist friends that are my peers and guys I looked up to, they're like giving me good feedback. It just gives me more energy to make more music. Oh, oh.